feel like I want to talk some more about the use of borax or boron. Um, maybe I should preface in saying that I am 56 years of age and I've been using 20 mule team borax in a specialized diluted mix um, for the last five years. And as you can see, I am still very much alive and well, I might say. I don't have any joint pains. I don't have any arthritis in my fingers. Um, I don't have any shoulder pains or tissue pains because borax has taken care of all of that. And the effective ingredients in borax is boron, which you can buy from your um, health food store, your health uh, vitamin store, uh, for those who are just too afraid to touch the 20 mule team borax in the laundry aisle. I'm a, I'm a brave soul, you have to know that. <laughs> I, I try things where I feel intuitively that it's okay. I'm willing to try things. But of course, I've done a lot of research on this. I have listened to other people who uh, use borax and uh, I've read the many different um, papers online. There is a PubMed article on the government page um, that is titled There's Nothing Boring About Bor Boron and it lists all the benefits that a little bit of micro supplementation with boron will do for your body. It's magnificent. And uh, the mix that I demonstrate in my other video will give you exactly a three microgram dose uh, per teaspoon, right? And uh, it is said in the papers that you need a minimum of three micrograms um, it's micrograms or milligrams, I'm not sure, milligrams. You need a minimum of three milligrams per day of this mineral supplementation. So you do take it daily, um, just as you take vitamin C daily, right? And uh, I have uh, upped my dosage as much as three teaspoons, which gives my body nine micro, uh, milligrams dosage per day. There is a toxicity level threshold, uh, and that is 24 milligrams per day. So you should never go that high. In fact, you should probably, it depends on body weight, but you should probably never go more than two teaspoons. Teaspoons, not tablespoons. Teaspoons. Um, that, that's six milligrams and that gives you plenty of boron for your bodily physical requirements. Now, what is the beautiful uh, function of boron. Boron uh, works together with your magnesium and your calcium. Like magnesium and calcium is meant to travel in pairs, but they need boron to become properly absorbed by your body, by your cells. Um, and this is the difference 
in whether your calcium is going to get deposited onto your bones and joints as um, arthritis or as plaque or the proper way is to absorb these minerals through the blood, through the cells, from the cellular level, and build your bones from the inside out, instead of from the outside on, right? So it's very important to properly absorb and distribute your calcium where it should be going, instead of where it should not be going, in your muscle tissue and in your joints. That's why when you feel stiff in your body and achy in your joints, that's because the calcium was not absorbed properly through the cells and then rebuilt your bones from inside, right? It all gets stuck in your muscle tissue and that's where the inflammation comes from and the stiffness and the pain. So, again, boron, in my case I use borax, serves as a transporter and absorption aid for magnesium and calcium and makes it function properly. How has, <clears throat> what has borax done for me in the last five years? Well, for one, at around age 50, I started having awful, awful gout in my, in my big toe joints in my feet to the point where walking became very, very painful. Another thing that happened is my, my shoulder, very painful. I couldn't lift it any higher than that. And I thought, well, maybe my muscles are weak, right? My arm muscles got weak because I spent so much time on the computer with the mouse and stuff. But in, ironically, it's the other arm. My, the, the mouse arm is where I'm holding the phone. But anyway, so I, I tried to do some exercises with, <laughs> with my shoulders. And that was a big mistake because it wasn't an issue of exercise. It was an issue of inflammation in my shoulder, in the tissue. And the borax fixed that. I can raise my shoulder up like that without pain. And as you can see, I can walk every day without pain. Uh, another benefit was um, my ankles always felt so loose and they would crack and pop and twist anytime I would try to run. And of course, with a twist, you get pain and you fall down. Right? You can't run very well when your ankles hurt and uh, pop out. <clears throat> so again, I noticed my ankles are much tighter now. I can run, I can jump, and things just stay in place better. Also, my back. Uh, my back used to go out regularly um, when I was um, shoveling sides, sidewalks. And it's not going out as much anymore. And, oh yeah, another benefit that I noticed and the first benefits, actually, of my pain, the first benefits I noticed after just using uh, this supplementation of borax for three weeks. Within three weeks, I've, I noticed my pain was gone. So you can get really quick results with borax. And the other benefit is I have virtually or practically, not virtually, practically, no menopausal symptoms, you know, none of that um, irritation, irritableness, the night sweats and stuff like that. I have uh, uh, also, I sleep well at night and I have a lot of mental clarity, as you can probably tell from my many morning musings and how I am able to articulate things so clearly. 
uh, again, um, borax will help to decalcify your pineal gland, which is your intuitive gland um, or your gateway to God, as they say. Um, so very beneficial for that as well. Many, many wonderful benefits using borax. Now, I have to say that you should always start with the smallest dosage if you decide to try this for yourself. By the way, I am not offering medical advice. I am not um, prescribing a cure or treatment for you. I am merely sharing what has been my experience and what worked for me. If you are going to try this, you do so at your own risk. Please educate yourself, as I have done, and be very smart about implementing this if you decide to. Like I say, always use the smallest dosage because borax also has a detox effect. So you always go with the smallest dose. Even You can even try half a teaspoon in your glass of water. Half a teaspoon of the concentrated mix that I described in my other video. You do not eat the powder. Do not eat the powder undiluted. It has to be heavily, heavily diluted so that the boron is in minimal micro amounts. Um, just as you don't eat table salt by the bag full, don't be stupid. Please use your common sense if you have some. So with that being said, um, what else was there? Yeah, um, be mindful of the detox. If you ever begin to feel not quite well, then cut back on the dosage because it is possible that boron will give you a Herxheimer reaction. So always listen to your body and uh, I wish you good health.